Hey, what's up? It's Jason here from Unity3D.College. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up a UI button in UGUI and how to make it do something. We'll hook it up with the editor and then we'll do it in code as well. So to get started, I'm just going to create a new button. I'll go to Game Object, UI, and Button. And you see here we got a canvas automatically created. And then underneath there is a button. The button is a little bit off center, so I'm just going to click on the Rec Transform tool, hold down Alt and Shift, and click the center button to center it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So we'll go to 360 by 130. And then we'll expand it out, select the text, and turn up this font size a little bit. Let's just go to a size of 60. There we go. Now we can see it well. So let's click on the button. And you see we have an on-click section here. This is where we can add events to our button. So to add an event, we click the plus. And we have a field right here for an object to assign. This is the object that the event's going to run on. So for this sample, I'm going to drag the text child here over to the object field. And then we'll be able to select a function that we want to run. Since we have a text here and it has a text component on it, we can select text and we'll choose string text. It's a lot of the word text here. So what this is going to do is change the text value of the text object to say something else. So we'll change it to say click. Make it nice and capital too. So that what that's doing is changing this text right here. So if I press play, I can click the button and it changes to the word clicked. That's kind of cool, but let's hook it up and make it run a little bit of code now. So to do that, I'm gonna select the button again and we're gonna add a new component. We'll call this choose random color. We've added the script and we'll open it up in Visual Studio. What we wanna do is add a method here that we can call from our event handler. So we'll call this public void change image color and what this is going to do is get the image component and then change the color of it to something else so we'll do get component image and I'm going to do control period and find the using statement for unity engine.ui now we want to change the color value to a random color so to do that I'm going to just make a new method called random color and then again control period to generate the method and down here what I want to do is return a new color that's got random value so we'll go return new color and we'll do unity engine dot random dot range uh, not random range random range 0 to 1 and then we need that for that's going to be the red we'll need it for blue and green all right, we'll jump back over to the editor now. Select the button again. And now let's just add another event. We can have more than one. So we'll add another one. And then so you can see this, what we'll do is select choose random color and we will choose the change image color method on there. So now when we click this button, that method is going to run on this object. So if I press play, and click the button, you see it's changing the text and it's choosing a random color. So the last thing I want to show you is how to hook this up in code. Sometimes you want to do it in the inspector like this, um, other times it makes more sense to do it in your script itself. And this is one of those cases where I'd probably hook it up in the script. So to do that, what we'll add is a method here. We'll use, actually I think we'll use the start method. So do private void start. And we're going to do get component button dot on click. And you see we have an event here that we can add things to. We'll add listener change image color. Notice there's no parentheses here. We're just putting a reference to this method. And since we're not calling this method from the inspector anymore, well, let's make this private. Doesn't doesn't need to be public, so it may as well not be. And we'll remove these extra using statements. And I think we're good. All right, let's jump back over to the editor. And we can remove this event in the inspector. Press play. Click on our button, and there we go. It's randomizing. Everything's all hooked up in code. We don't have to worry about anything here. All right, so that's kind of all I wanted to show with the buttons. Which way you hook it up really depends on your use case. For me, I find that if I'm doing a script that's going to be common on buttons and doesn't need to 
associate with another object, like I'm not assigning in a camera or some other object that's outside the button. I usually prefer to do it in code. It makes it a little bit easier to figure out what's going on with the references and not have to dig around through the inspector. But sometimes it just makes more sense to do it in the editor too. Uh, so just pick whatever's right for your use. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.